So you may not exactly be looking for a book on the brain, but I'm telling you, you want to be a student of the brain. If you are, you can unlock such potential. Now, my name is Marcus, this is Discover Ignite, and today I'm actually doing a book review on a book called Incognito by David Engelman. Now, sit back, relax, and let's get this book review started. So I don't know about you, but I've been extremely intrigued about the brain throughout my whole life, right? Trying to unlock the secrets of the brain, and I have picked up many different books. But most recently, I picked up this book called Incognito. Now this book, I must say, it really breaks it down. For somebody that doesn't know anything about the brain and how it works, this book would be something you should get because to unlock the brain, right? To understand how the brain works, you know, can actually help you throughout your life, right? If you're going through some traumatic experiences or you know you're trying to be successful or you may have other issues, right? With, you know, just dealing with social environments or anything like that, you know, anxiety, any, any kind of issues like that, right? You want to know how the brain works, right? How can you combat that stuff, right? How can you fix it in your brain? What you know, techniques can you use to you know, stop yourself from that little voice in back of your head, right? That, that tells you not to do something, right? And, and then this book is a great example of that because it actually breaks down, you know, the brain is actually developed into a lot of these little, you know, burnt in instructions essentially, right? that are programmed into our mind and our mind works off you know like you know 95 to 99 percent works off the subconscious so it works off all these you know different subconscious levels and this is how we go about life right and it actually dives into the fact that our conscious is actually delayed right the message gets to our conscious at a delayed time which is really hard to believe right it's just it's incredible how the brain works. Now you know there's times in your life where you feel like you've got multiple voices in your head. And this is actually something that is very true, right? This is what has been proven, that you have a bunch of these different alien systems that are in control of specific tasks, right? And then you got your conscious, which kind of is supposed to, you know, manage all of them. But, you know, sometimes if, you know, we get some kind of damage to the brain, that that conscious level doesn't have control over those other, you know, alien brains within your within your head right and so that's what this book really breaks down is those different alien systems and you know how it all works right like none of the you know us walking is not actually something that we remember in our head it's something that is burned into our subconscious right and then our brain just kind of you know has the metadata that it throws it out there okay i want you to walk so you start walking and it's just intrigued with all this phenomenal information on how the brain works together to figure stuff out right the, especially like the you know the right hemisphere and the left hemisphere you hear so much about that different kinds of stuff and the creative side Side and the logical side right and that you know music you know helps both sides of the brain work together and poetry was actually found to help you know it's, it's essentially poetry to the brain is almost like you know music is to the body right and so it's just it's just phenomenal how it all works and how it is all put together and it also goes into you know further in the book about how you know the these subconscious alien systems, right? If you get any kind of damage to the brain and that conscious system can't control the subconscious is, is when you get, you know, these, these, these mass murders and stuff like that, right? Because the subconscious has no control over the alien systems. And he also dives into a little bit about how, you know, how is the, the justice system really, is it really playing fair, right? Because if you're, if you have no control over your, your conscious system that can't control the other alien systems, how much control do you actually have over your body? And it just breaks down, you know, a bunch of different, you know, people that were, had damage to the brain and how they reacted and they've done all these studies on, you know, what happens to certain parts of your brain and how you react. And, and the very intriguing thing is that you can live with one half of your brain. Now, I'm not talking like front to back, but if you just essentially one half, right, your right or your left side, you can 
function normally, right? It may, you may be working a little different to get things done, but you can still only have one half of the brain, which is really interesting. So as far as like any cons for this book, I mean, again, I've always been a student of the brain, so I always thought that, you know, everything was just intriguing to me and all the information in here was just, they didn't really drag anything out or anything like that, right? It was just good solid information on how the brain was working, how it reacted to things, how it interacted with itself. And then, you know, it it was just continuous. It was, it was great from the beginning to the end. Now, as far as any benefits, like I said, I have all, I have, giving you tons of benefits. I love this book. It is a phenomenal book on the brain. And especially for someone that doesn't know anything about the brain, this book is definitely something you wanna get because you definitely wanna understand the brain. And again, it can unlock many things in your life. And you may be wondering why, you know, you may not have motivation. You know, there might be a part of your brain that is, you know, stopping you from being motivated, right? Because you have those, you know, they say it's on average like six voices or something in your head, all these different alien systems, you know, trying to, you know, put their two cents in. When you have that conscious system, which is what we think we are, right? That controls all those alien systems. And so, again, if you haven't read this, I highly suggest you pick it up. You can learn a ton from this book. So if you guys like this video, please smash that like button. And until next time, I will see you guys later.